Welcome everybody out there here to our next webinar at uh, JFD Bank and a warm welcome in the name of JFD Bank as well. Today's topic as always for those kind of webinars, yeah, that's the JFD Invest Trading and Investing Simplified. And my name is uh, Stefan Friedrichowski and um, you see already my contact details here. So if you have any further question, just feel, don't, feel free to send me an email to s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com um, or you send the email to support at jfdbank.com. Anyhow, we will make sure that you will get your answers to your um, questions. Today, yeah, <laughs> I have to mention the date for the records. Yeah, we have the 22nd of May, 2019. As always, we have three individual topics for if we talk about JFD Invest, uh, then we will talk about highlights of last week. We talk about JFD Invest in general, those strategies you might uh, want to follow. And we will have a look to my personal JFD Invest account. Since you know I have a known portfolio following a couple of strategies. So what I'm basically doing is I do exactly the same as you as a client that yeah you follow strategies and um, you will see I have to accept a drawdown last week or I think it was on Monday um, let's talk about that later as well because that belongs to trading um, as well so I have a drawdown so still I'm profitable no question um, but that has to be explained and and I have to say, I even like to explain or to show that because up to now, we have a straight line going close to 50% profit. Now we are back at 25, but still we have that profit. But maybe I should start with JFD Invest uh, in general. But before doing, you know, the procedure I have always to show always disclaimer because we talk about trading, we talk about financial instruments. But anyhow, whatever you do, finally, whatever you decide, you do it on your own and on your own responsibility. I think you, ex <laughs> you can understand uh, that I have to mention it and you can understand what I mean. Um, let's start with JFT Invest at all. So what is JFT Invest? JFT Invest is um, something you can find on JFT homepage quite easy. You go for JFT Invest, that's uh, easy to find. But JFT Invest is a digital wealth management platform. So it means you have an account and what you're finally doing is you follow professional traders with their trading strategies and if i mean following strategies you see here is on the web page already the top five performing strategies um, as we speak or not really as we speak uh, the table is updated uh, only once a day but uh, anyhow you see we are talking about uh, highly profitable strategies. You, the top one is close to 100%, and uh, this is a little bit in one more than one year. And even the um, top uh, five performer has still 20%, and that is um, within a little bit more than one and a half year. So, anyhow, what you see, we are talking about really high performing strategies it's not just the single digit growth um, in one year no um, they are really good strategies and the good thing is all those strategies are pre-selected by a team at uh, jfd um, and those experts decide which strategy are shown in uh, and and uh, yeah are presented at jfd invest and that team that's doing a real review process on any strategy. You see already some other key figures here. We have to talk about equity balance deviation later when it comes to some more strategies and uh, all the other numbers. The procedure of how to, to become part of uh, JFD Invest and how to get those strategies into your trading account, and that is exactly what JFD Invest is doing. It's something like a um, social trading platform. It's something like a mirror trading or copy trading platform. Finally, what's 
is done here, those strategies are copied directly into your trading account. So you follow according your own preferences and your own risk allocation uh, and risk preferences. So that's what you are finally doing. You act as a portfolio manager and you select so those strategies, not only one, I prefer always a couple of strategies in, or, in order to be diversified. And um, but that's everything by your own, your own decisions. And then you get those trades copied into your account. So what you have to do is you open a JFD Invest profile. So that's really easy. If you go here to sign up, then you can do that. That's just an email address and your password. Um, and then you, you have more details about any strategies. Then if you like, you open a JFD Invest account, which is a special one because it's a so-called professional account with a leverage of 1 to 100. Uh, the reason why you get this one is simply, yeah, you, you uh, follow professional traders, therefore you get the same conditions. And the other thing is, and uh, you may not like that one, you cannot trade by your own in that account. So you cannot open a trade in, in, in a sense that you can uh, say, okay, long uh, 0.01 lot euro, US dollar, that you can't do. You can only follow strategies and stop following strategies. Then you connect both and then you uh, are ready to follow definitely those strategies. Let's have a view on what has been um, the top performer of last week. The top performer last week was a strategy Hyperion, which is a quite cool strategy. And I will show you more details about the strategy in a minute, um, because that strategy is more or less exclusively trading Ducks and Dow Jones. Sometimes it's uh, doing some trades on oil and uh, one Forex pair, but um, the yeah, major part of those trades are just as uh, uh, the two indices, DAX and Dow Jones. You see already as a small picture about uh, the, the growth versus time uh, for more than one year. And that is, yeah, it's the top performer at all, uh, close to 100%. But we have to, to, to look further into uh, those dips to the south and investigate what's going on there. And in order to get the feeling about those numbers behind, in order that you can decide, is that strategy too risky for me? Are the drawdowns too heavy? And if yes, then you should not follow that strategy. If you have, want to have a high risk strategy uh, with really good performing of uh, performance, okay, then of course Hyperion is something you might go for. How can you now get more details about the strategy? It's quite easy. The first thing, and that is something you can do always, um, and wherever you are, uh, you just use the guest access, and then you have already more details here presented um, um, on the screen. And the same, by the way, is true for anything you do with your personal JFT Invest account. You do it directly via web. That means wherever you are and you have access to the internet, you can do anything with your portfolio as well. I will, do, I will show that in a minute. Let's start with Hyperion because that has been the top performer of last week. So you see uh, that strategy here already once again. And you can see um, that this strategy has been uh, incepted uh, so started at January 2018, total return last month, um, and a number which is quite important, equity balance deviation. The reason why I always uh, emphasize that number, that number shows you the difference between the actual balance, which is the account with all closed trades, and equity, is including all open trades. You know, when it comes to trading, you open a trade, then instantly you are in the minus, at least uh, in the next millisecond, because uh, yeah, uh, you have to pay spreads, you have to pay um, commissions, something like that. But anyhow, even later, those t that trade might be against you. Why not? Happens, of course. And you may open additional trades and you may be on the wrong side once again. So that are so-called floating losses. 
floating profits are possible as well, but uh, let's more um, focus on floating losses. That means we have a loss which is not booked, but it is there and you will see it in your account. So that is something you may suffer, so to speak, uh, if you realize those losses. And you see what numbers might be possible. Okay, and now we see Hyperion, for example, has excellent return. But on the other hand, we see equity balance deviation in the order of 40%. So, but nevertheless, the return is double than, let's call it, the risk, uh, which is equity balance deviation, not the only risk. There are other uh, things to be taken into account. But um, so if you calculate the quotient, then you get a little bit uh, feeling of the risk reward ratio, not in a way when we talk about uh, trades, uh, risk reward ratio, it's more return of a strategy and risk of a strategy. We have to look for the drawdown as well, but I want to show you around here uh, what's possible with JFD and West. And that means, for example, if I click on that strategy, then we get the full view, uh, picture of, uh, in this case, of the growth uh, of that strategy. And you see that strategy started in March last year. So it's a little bit more than one year now old. And we see those uh, behavior of growth. Growth is always calculated on the base of equity. That means it includes all open, tra uh, open trades. And that was the reason that we have this temporarily going south in that region and here. Since we are of the opinion that this is quite important to be that transparent, we give that picture another uh, one here. Uh, then you can see more details about equity balance deviation itself. And then exactly that versus time. Overall, maximum was minus 40%. That has been reached here in September last year. But you see now that kind of behavior over time. So let's think in, in averages. So in average, that strategy might have floating losses of about minus uh, 15%, but maximum minus 40. Okay. And now it comes to you. Is that too heavy? Is that too high for you? I can totally understand then conclusion, don't go for this strategy, take another one, uh, which has uh, not that volatile behavior. And that's the reason why we present all the details uh, about any strategies so that you can judge and now decide, do you want that kind of behavior in your account? If so, <laughs> It's just easy. Later, we will see we have just to press the button follow, and then I can exactly follow that kind of strategy. So that's how it works. Let's let's have a view on another strategy so that you can see the difference. Oh, I, um, I will explain it on, on another one. Um, what I try to mention <laughs> right now. Let me let me just go for example gold mine. A uh, gold mine has a total return of 20%. I mean, still, that's a number you cannot get at um, any any bank interest rates. Um, yeah, but have a look. let's have a look to the details of that strategy. Unfortunately, the internet is always a little bit tricky when I do webinars, so um, let me restart that process to go to the details of the strategy. Um, now we go, and hopefully now it comes, it will pop up in a second that we have the details of that strategy here as well. Um, okay, that strategy has um, behavior similar to uh, Hyperion, and that means it goes north, yes, uh, quite steady. It has drawdowns as well, yeah, uh, but we know that belongs to trading. Here we are. Here we have the growth, and we see that we have losses as well. But now, those losses are losses, not only equity balance deviation. Let's have a view. 
So you see the equity balance deviation is not exceeding 6%, which is really a cool value, that we have nevertheless steps to the south in the growth means, okay, that's a real drawdown. That means there has been trades uh, reaching stop loss level and yeah, they are closed belongs to trading as well. But nevertheless, what you see with all these other details, st steady growth versus time. So it's really a cool strategy. And what you can see, that was something I would uh, like to highlight as well. You have all the statistics of uh, that strategy, number of trades executed. And you see that it's really a, a um, trading strategy which is really trading. I mean, it's not just five lucky winners and now we show the uh, the growth of that account. No 2,000 trades executed in the past. And what is always important for you, maybe as well, is that you'll have a view on what are the instruments being traded. And in this case, you can see that this single strategy is already a portfolio of about 13 different underlyings. That means the strategy itself is already trading 13 different symbols and executing different uh, trades on that. Not uh, equally distributed, um, but you see yeah, most of those symbols are really traded uh, quite often. All those informations are available. So now it's always up to you to decide, hey, is that strategy something for me? Yes or no? Do I like it? Do I like the instruments? Maybe you don't like um, commodities. Maybe you don't like indices or maybe you don't like forex symbols. So everything is available so that you can do your own review process and uh, finally decide which strategy you follow. I promised that I want to talk about my personal JFD Invest account as well. And that is exactly here. And the normal procedure is you just log in and then you are there. I'm already logged in. That's the reason why uh, uh, it's already here without pressing any uh, email address and password. And now you see, whoops, since last week, I have a step down. And in this case, this step down is about 1,800 euros. Wow. Let's think about the reason. <laughs> of course, there has been traded, uh, been in stop loss or something else. In this case, it has been the strategy FX Global, which, which I follow um, the strategy already a couple of months, I think. And I cannot still show the exact um, uh, values of how to follow that strategy or what kind of parameters are used, but I still know them. And I followed that strategy with the minimum invest sum, which has been 3,000 euros. And I put the bottom of risk allocation or risk management to 50%, which means if that strategy would lose 50%, so one and a half thousand euros, um, yeah, then please stop out the strategy. And exactly that has happened. That strategy has had a huge drawdown, and uh, we can talk about that uh, in detail because um, uh, I want to be fully transparent. And here we are. Epix Global is now um, the, the last one here in, in that row. And even that one I will show um, because everything has to be uh, shown up here. And you see, the strategy has had a huge drawdown. And that means for me, I have been stopped out because I set a risk a level and that is if I go for allocation, then you see there's a protection level. So what we see here is the um, allocation table of my active allocations as we speak five different strategies are within my portfolio and you see that for all of them i have a protection level sometimes 100 percent, which means no protection but then what does that mean that would mean if the strategy has a minus of 2000 it would be stopped out okay fair enough so that's a maximum 
risk I'm exposed to. For the strategy which has been stopped out in my account, the level was at 50% for the strategy FX Global. And that has happened. Okay. Now we can think, hmm, is it good or bad to use that kind of equity protection level? The answer is not straight. I mean, um, if you want to limit your risk, of course you need that uh, risk protection. If you accept a, a total loss of a single strategy, okay, then you put it to 100. Even if you put it to 100, it's still, if you are using JFD Invest as a portfolio account, it's still not your complete account. It's just that m amount of money you allocate for a given strategy. So even if I have a 100 here, it's never more than 2,000. And that's how it really works quite well. Think about why it is so important to be diversified. If I would have been with 100% in that one strategy, you know what happened, then that total loss would be um, within my account. Since I'm quite diversified, I'm still within now five different strategies. I have that result. Okay, I know now I have that drawdown here and I have to live with that, but that's okay. I mean, that belongs to trading. And even showing this in those webinars, I really like because if you just have a straight line north, okay, nice. But uh, everybody who's a little bit more in trading by its own knows that drawdowns belong to trading always. There is no um, single line always going north and never to have... Uh, steps down to the south. No, it's like this one. I wait for the recovery and I still, I'm pretty sure I will do that. I have still a return of 31% and you may think, oops, and why you only have a little bit more than 2000? Okay, uh, as always, transparency is a must um, for, for anything uh, with, in the financial markets. Let me go back to the strategy gold mine. Let me go back to details, for example, and then you see, okay, there's a line performance fee. Oops. No, not a oops. Uh, of course, there are fees involved, but it's only performance fee. So there's no management fee or something like that or um, any, any hidden costs. No, it's performance fee. Performance fee means According to high watermark, if there are new highs, then at the end of the month, then I would have to pay performance fee, which I did. And the difference between uh, the two, two numbers on the previous graph has been exactly those 25% because, of course, I have paid performance fee, but only if I reach new highs with a single strategy. If that strategy is reaching new highs, then at the end of the month, uh, um, performance fee um, is paid directly from my account. Other things you, by the way, can see here, uh, minimum investment sum, so the minimum number you need in order to follow that uh, strategy. And the other thing which you see here is um, assets under management. So in total, there are uh, 75, thousand euros uh, involved within that strategy um, and the numbers of investors you can see here as well so it's 35 uh, everything is transparent everything is available uh, so that you, you can do your own review process it it's quite important to do that um, and uh, I can only recommend um, just a minute I have to read a question here when one chooses a strategy to follow, are deposits made into the account only for the strategy or for the account in general? No. Um, how does it work? The first thing is you open a JFT Invest account, and that is one account. You see, for example, here is the account number. Then you deposit within that account a fixed number of, of euros or whatever you like. Say 
let's say 5,000 euros. Now you see within your account those 5,000. And now you do the allocation process. That means you may invest 1,000 in gold, mon gold mine, 1,000 in PowerFX, and 3,000 in something else. So it's always out of your JFD Invest account. Um, that is, a, let's call it the total sum. And out of that, you allocate. In my case, I have started with 10K. And let's have a view on my allocation table uh, as we speak. And then we will see the different numbers. I'm with 2,000 in balance, with 1,000 in Neptune, with three in Hesperus, in, with two in Gold Rush, and two in Gold Mine. It's always out of your overall um, JFD Invest account. So, still, even with that drawdown, I have a net profit of more than 20% earned in about eight, eight months. That's the result. I can live with that. And even if I would have that result after 12 months, I still would like uh, the final result quite well. I'm quite uh, sure, yes. But I hope that we can recover uh, that drawdown over the next couple of months and have some additional growth here within that account again. That's for now. Um, of course, next week I will review the account, the strategies, maybe there are new one. And let's talk about details as always. Let's be transparent with everything which happens. And for you, just enjoy your time uh, and see you next time. Bye-bye. Have a good day.